given the root of the binary return is maximum depth maximum depth means level like 3 is your level 1 9 and 20 is your level 2 15 and 7 is your level 3 so basically what you want to do is find the maximum depth which is in this example is 3 All right this is actually an easy problem um all you basically need to do is traverse the tree go to the bottom and uh, then have a count right have a max count of how far you have gone uh, you can obviously do a dfs or vfs here but in this example probably i'll do a dfs that's probably the easier one mm. so yeah so in this case you have three nine so what you want to do is if you do a dfs you go here to the right and then you also go to the left so every time you go to the right and the left you do uh, keep track of the the depth where you're in so that when you go until here so that you're that you have a tree so when you do a max at this level this is a two this is a two this is three and this is one right so when you go up with the recursion stack you you know that three is your uh your maximum so yeah let's do a dfs way of doing this so in this case so you see if you're if you're at the bottom if it's null uh or if it's nil you uh move up the stack which is a uh, return zero else this is where you need to do a maximum um yeah, let's create a max function this is a thing about golang it doesn't have a max function so just a simple not max function which uh is greater than b just uh, return a right else then return b so in this case you do have need to do a max so basically go to the left max depth root that left compare it to the max depth root that right Now let's say you're going to the bottom left and you got a zero. So when you when you're moving up the stack, you keep on adding one. So you keep on adding one here. Once you move up the stack. So you do compare the maximum depth from the left and the right and then return that as your result. Hmm. You can try it out, this is gonna work. It should be very, very straightforward. If you're doing this in Java, it should be pretty much the same. Uh, that's why I do this in Java. Java has a max function. Um, so in this case, you just have to cut this. It's the same thing. Uh, remove this. You don't need a max. Java has a max. So you, all you need to do is mat that max. Root that left. Root that right. Um, okay, this should be null. I find the I find the Java solution when you're running this in the lead code is more stable. And like like it doesn't the 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 server doesn't fluctuate that much. Yeah, it's hundred percent. So yeah. Um, if you're a little bit confused how this is working, basically you're just basically going to the left. If you, I'm gonna break it down so you guys can understand further. Because I just shortened it up, right? So you're going to the right. You also have to go to the right, right? And you have a result here, which is in a like that and B is like that. And then you compare, you compare the result between uh, A and B. Essentially, uh, yeah, this is probably easier to understand. Yeah. 
So as you go, uh, as you move up the the stack, um, you you find the max between the two, and then you add one, and then and then you you just move up the stack. So if both of them are null, so you only have one level because that's your root, right? Yeah. So I just shorten it up. Okay. So if you like this video, um, hit like and subscribe, and um, see you again in the next session. Thank you for watching.